Hi guys, it's Debbie, and I'm here to do um, another fluid painting, poured painting. And um, I have my paints all mixed up, as usual. I um, the, the ingredient I feel that makes the painting get the cells is is the um, silicone, and having it having your paints mixed up so it's very. I don't know. I kind of like it a little bit thicker than Malcolm Magnesia, or maybe it's pretty close. But um, that's what I feel works the best with doing this. I do have a little word of advice. I really loved this painting. You see that? The other day, um, I just realized there's a drip on it. So I was probably moving a wet painting to put over on the uh, drying board and must have dripped on and I didn't realize it until it was too late. So, anyways, you might want to be aware that that can happen. <laughs> I've had it happen several times before. It's always upsetting when you kind of kind of mess up one of your better paintings. But, anyways, um, I'm going to do an 8x10 canvas, and I have all the paintings mixed up. They're all mixed up with a... Um, um, a liquid pouring medium. You can use several different ones. I don't feel it really matters a whole lot which one you use. So you can use Golden, Liquitex, uh, Floetrol, Mod Podge. Just mix them up until you get this consistency and add a little silicone. Several different forms of silicone you can buy. I don't feel that it matters which one you use on those either. But one thing I have noticed, sometimes if you don't add enough which sometimes I don't want a whole lot because sometimes, as with this painting here, it's a larger 16 by 20, but I feel it has an awful lot going on. So possibly, you know, there was a couple different pores done on this one, but I think that possibly these larger ones, you may want to not mix so much silicone in it because I feel it gets awful busy that way. And I have one, I have another one over here that I'm, it's very dark, but it's not bad, but I'm going to repaint it because I just feel it's way, 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 way too busy. So, but I just got back from vacation. I'm pretty excited to make a couple little paintings. It kind of gets me in the mood to, to make something bigger. It's kind of exciting because painting like this, you can create your own masterpiece with just a matter of mixing up your stuff and not being afraid. And if it doesn't turn out, let it dry and repaint it. I mean, you're in control of your 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 painting. So there's um, plenty of people out there telling you how to mix things up exactly. So if that's the direction that you need, then you can find several videos out there telling you how to do it. Um, I've been pouring paintings for quite a long time, oh, and I've sold thousands of them. The, but my, uh, when I used to pour before, I did not put them all in a cup and dump it. I would pour it onto the painting and sometimes run like, you know, big scrapers through it because I was working pretty big. Um, so my advice to you is just experiment. Yeah, there's, you know, it's pretty easy to come up with a pretty awesome painting pouring it into the cup so anyways I'm going to bring you down and we're gonna get started on this let's see how center this <laughs> got too many things on my table here I want to drop you in there all right so I don't know if that's gonna be close enough that might be okay Or not. Sorry guys, but let me pause this for a minute. Okay guys. Um, hopefully this is going to be good enough. Move it back a little more. Whoa! Sorry, I thought I had this all fixed. That's why I stopped, paused the video for a second. I want to make sure we have you in there pretty good. Okay. It still looks kind of crooked. All right, anyways, I think we might be ready to go again. I put on a smock because this is kind of messy painting. 
actually a very messy painting. Okay. Uh, here we go. I'm going to try to recreate, which there's no recreating with this, but I'm going to give it a shot. The one I showed you at the beginning, this one right here, which has a load of pink, purple, white, and a splash of blue, light blue. And I put a lot more of this white in at the very end of the pour, or else I did a separate one. I honestly don't remember without watching the video. So, but we're going to give it a shot and see if I can re recreate something sort of similar to that. So I'm just going to do, even though I have these all mixed up for the next pour, we're going to do the pink, purple, white, and pink, purple, white. Yeah, mainly pink, a little purple, and white. And this one also has a little yellow in that corner, but I don't think that's real needed. But I, and also, you may want to wear your gloves. If you're like me, the paint will stay with me for a few, several days, even with gloves. But, all right, I think we're finally ready to go. Apologize for all the interruptions. Uh, make sure we are recording. Yeah, sorry. I've done whole paintings before and realized somewhere along the line it stopped. So... Okay, gloves are on. <laughs> well, now we need a dirty pour cup. Which ones? We can use one of these. These are all dried up old ones. There's, even though it looks wet this time, it's not. So, um, I honestly don't remember how I started that other one. So, since I want a lot of pink, I'm going to start this one with some pink. Purple and white. Oh, I missed her fork. Okay, some of these, you know, I think I could go thinner, but I don't know how important that. I kind of have a consistency that I sort of like, but I'm always wondering, could I go a little thinner? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put a little white. Pull this up way high. See if we can distribute this all over the place in there. Since the other one did have a little touch of yellow, we're going to give that a shot. Just a little. Okay, so in the top part of it, a lot of white. So I think, one more time, a little bit of pink. Oh, I'm used to look a lot of pink there. This cup was kind of full when I started. Okay, I wasn't thinking about it when I mixed up the colors because I hadn't realized at that point I had. Okay. I'm kind of wondering how close we'll get. I'm going to look at this again, at that top part. See the top part? It had more, a, little, a lot of purple and white on there. Mainly white, a little purple. So I'm going to put a little more purple on this top part. See what we can do with this situation. All right, I think I have enough colors there. And we'll see what's going to happen. If we'll get close or far away. You never know sometimes with this. That's the fun part of it. You never know what you're creating, I guess. Well, you kind of do, but then you don't know what you're going to end up with. So, well, there was a big clunk of something. All right. So, we have a lot of white on this one. And a lot of purple. Check that out. We were expecting more pink. <laughs> and actually, look at how the... The yellowish, the orange kind of color showed up. Okay. Get 
cleaning the corners. You always kind of want to get your corners. I like to get mine early on. That one I didn't do. That one needs a little bit more. There we go. All right, this didn't turn out at all like I was expecting it <laughs> to do, which is kind of par for this game. But I have to admit, I do like what I have going on in here. So it has a lot of different stuff going on. You can see the cells starting to pop up over here. Touch that a little bit there. Um, see they're starting to pop up, coming through the white there. Whoops. So, all right. I'm going to wipe my hands off. I think I'll turn on the heat gun. You have to let the heat gun warm up a little bit, or else it's just going to blow your paints around. This is a craft heat gun I am using. Um, if you have one that um, is like a construction grade, I'd recommend using that one. I used to have one. I don't know whatever happened to it. I probably used it too many times. It's been gone quite a while. <laughs> okay, you got a lot more popping up over in there. You got over here. And I can see little pink ones wanting to start over in this corner here. A lot of times with the heat gun, you don't see it quite as fast as happening as you might see with a torch. But they they get coming after you hit it. So, they get coming. I think I'm going to leave that go alone now because I don't like it when they get too busy. I like all this interest going on, but I feel that on the larger paintings, you need a little more places for your eye to rest. So, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot still happening in here. And I love over here in this corner, I'm hoping you can see that. This corner, I love kind of little things that are going on over there and over here. And we just got all kinds of cool little things starting to happen here. And I could hold it and move it and more things would happen. But I think I'm going to just let it do its own thing. And let it continue to pop through in its own speed. So, when I... Yeah, I think I'm done with this one for right now. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for stopping by and taking a look again. And I'll be doing another one. Thank you. Bye-bye.